Hello. This Bible study in this video focuses on a question, a question of some concern for church practice. Don't the scriptures require that the bread or the cup in the Lord's Supper to be singular? I'm not going to read in this video a lot of the scriptures involved, but I'm going to show you where they all are slightly later. One of these is this passage from Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, and focus on especially verse 17. Because there is one loaf, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. Um, now, they did certain things in the Apostles' day, I grant, in the Apostolic era, era that we don't do. Well, for one thing, they had Apostles' live apostles on the scene, and we do not. But here, Paul not only alludes to a church practice of that era, but draws an implication from it. We who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. If a church doesn't in fact, at the Holy Communion, partake of one loaf, does not that hinder unity? The we who are many are one body. Now, I said I would exhibit all the scriptures to look at in this case. You can see them here. From Matthew 26, Mark 14, Luke 22, and these two passages from Paul in 1 Corinthians. And um, before I finish up this video, I'm actually going to turn to one of them, namely the passage in Matthew's Gospel about the Lord's Supper uh, when Jesus observed it with disciples and instituted it. And, well, I'll just, I'm not reading a lot of scriptures here, but uh, look at 26. 26, for example. Yeah, I've got that right. 26, 26. Gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body. Singular, this. Not these that I've broken up into... Well, I mean, not these that I've, uh, I'm serving to you in separate loaves is my body, but this singular. It's true he may have broken it up beforehand, but that's another Bible study topic. Yeah, it does, I think, say in some texts at least that he broke it, which is a valid church practice, therefore. And again in verse 27, you see a singularity. Drink from it, all of you. The group is many. All of you, that's clearly plural. And uh, the group of disciples eating the bread, that's clearly uh, a plurality. But as to the bread and the cup, that is in each case, by design, I think, singular. 
So. I think this is something that churches should pay heed to. Um, and consider prayerfully with attention to the scripture what the scriptures, what the Lord might be requiring in this case, where perhaps in some cases our practices, in fact, have drifted away from the institution, from the intended singularity of the bread and the cup, uh, which I think if the modern church practice drifts away from these, the singularity of bread and cup, the intended effect of the singularity of bread and cup, the sort of elements that the communicants in the Lord's Supper receive, I think that is hindered when the church perhaps drifts away from such New Testament practice. Well, till next time.